In this tutorial, we're going to build a simple net logo model. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need. This model is very simple. There are only two buttons in this model. When you click Setup, it creates one butterfly on the green background. When you click Go, the butterfly flies around. Now let's make this model. First, create a new file like this. Then right-click anywhere in the blank interface. In the pull-down menu, choose Button. When you have the new button, you should also have a window to edit this button. We're going to make this button the Setup button. Put down Setup in the Commands window, and then click OK. At this point, you can see the Setup text is in red. That is because there is no program codes associated with it. We will make that later. Now, in the same way, we make the Go button. After making the buttons, you can select them and then align them to make them look nicer. Now we're ready to put down the program codes. Go to click Code tab. We will make setup procedure first. We put down to setup, and then we put down end. Any codes we want the program to run will go between the to and end. Setup button defines the initial status of the model. So you want to clean all the previous settings. We will put down clear all as the first command line, which will clean everything. You might notice some words coming with colors. These are the commands built in the net logo. The next line, I'm going to put down the codes for setting up turtles. Now I just call that set up turtles. See, the phrase is in black which indicates this is not a built-in commands. And then, next line, I'm going to set up my patches. Finally, the last line will be the command to tell the net logo reset the internal clock. Now, if you want to go to the interface, the net logo will remind you, say, nothing named setup turtles has been defined because we have not put down the detailed instruction. Let's do that now. We will start a new procedure. We put down two setup turtles. Again, we're going to end this procedure with end. Between the to and end, we will put down the detailed instruction. Now we want to create a turtle, so we put down create turtles1. Then let's check. This time NetLogo says there is no setup patches. Yes, we need to go ahead to set up patches. Start a new procedure. Put down two setup patches. Remember, you need to use dash to connect the words. NetLogo already has patches in the system, so we don't have to create patches. But we need to set up the feature of these patches. In this model, I want the background patches to be green. To give command to all patches, I will put down ask patches. And then in the bracket, I'm going to put down the commands. I will set P color 52. In that logo, color is the command for turtle's color, and P color is the color for the patches. In that logo, 
52 is a kind of dark green color. If you go to Tool, Open Color Swatches, you can find more colors and their numbers. 52 is right here. Now we have put down all the commands. We can switch back to the interface. You can see the text of setup is in black. Click setup. You can see a turtle appearing on the green background. Remember, we want to make a butterfly on the background. How can we make that happen? Yes, we can change the shape. Let's go to the code. Because we want to define the turtles, we go to right underneath the command which we create a turtle. We want to ask turtles. Notice even we only have one turtle, we still use plural. In the bracket, we're going to put down the commands to change the shape, size, and color of this turtle. We're going to use three set commands. To make these commands clear, we can break the commands into three lines. Make sure you don't forget the closing bracket. I want to first reset the size and then the shape and then the color. For the size, I'll put two. The shape, I put down butterfly. Remember, you need to use quotation mark and then for the color, I will use 58, which is a light green color. You can check your commands. It seems everything is fine. Now, when you click Setup, you should see a light green butterfly shows on the green background. Now, let's create program code for Go button. Go to the Code tab. Start a new procedure. Put down to go and then end. We want the butterfly to move. So let's put down move. But this is not a actual code. We need to put down the specific instruction to teach butterfly to move. Now let's start a new procedure for move. Type to move and then end. How do we want the butterfly to move? Randomly. So what does randomly mean? You can imagine the butterfly will randomly choose a direction and then move forward a little bit and then randomly choose another direction, move forward a little bit. So really this behavior have two steps. Randomly choose the direction and then move forward. We can use command random to help the turtle choose direction and then use forward to make turtle move forward. Again, we ask turtles. In the bracket, we put down the commands. We want to randomly choose direction. We need to put down random 360. Think about what does 360 mean? Yes, degrees. Basically, you ask turtle to choose a random number from 0 to 359. Then, we add right in front of the random 360. Right is a command to ask turtle to make right turn. Put together, this command asks turtle to make a right turn in a direction that is randomly picked from 0 to 359. Then we ask turtle to move forward one step.
Sometimes it's easier to understand a very long command by breaking it into multiple lines. Now let's go to interface. When you set up and then click go, you can see the butterfly randomly move around. However, the butterfly only moves one step each time. To make the butterfly move continuously, let's add the Go button a little bit more. Right-click Go button, choose Edit. Check the Forever option in the window. Then press OK. Now, when you click Go button, you should see the butterfly move continuously. Congratulations, you just made your first NetLogo model. Save this model. See you in class.